She's best known for her works that have perceptual effects to them. Um, they really challenge your eyes in the way you see. Um, they're always abstract, sometimes using black and white, sometimes using color, um, but they do um, provide you with some pretty amazing perceptual experiences. Riley is an artist uh, who has been absolutely inspired by the long art history, um, by the famous painters in the history of art canon. Um, and she's worked over the course of her working life um, to understand, um, like those artists have understood before her, uh, the use of color, the use of comparisons of color, um, things like tone, shade, light, and how to bring those together in her own signature abstract way. very active and I think that's a great civic conception uh, of what pleasure means. Separate or aside. I think um, I look with my sight so to speak and you understandably when you come here are looking at these paintings. It ha doesn't have to serve a purpose, like actually um, a great deal of other painting. It doesn't have to represent something. Colors, lines, um, shapes, spaces do not have to stand in for double duty, so to speak. What's amazing about Riley's work is that for all the different types of abstraction that you might see, from stripes to diagonals to curves, different compositions, she's actually underlying all that, inspired by nature. She is really interested in how um, light plays through landscape, how you know, light falls through leaves or on somebody's face. Um, and understanding those sort of foundational principles allows her to create such dramatic work. really hope that all visitors coming into the gallery um, have a chance to really understand what it means to look and to see. Um, and I think the great part about Riley's work is that she puts an artwork out there and then whoever comes in front of that picture brings with it whatever they bring with it, whoever they are, however they see. Um, and they can 
learn something about their own way of seeing the world and their own perception.